So, we had a look at Firefox and went through the reasons why you'd make it your default browser. It's fast, it's open source, and it doubles down on privacy. Now, it's time to put Oprah through the same test and see what we find out. I'm Alex with the Windows Report, and this is Oprah. Five reasons to switch your default browser. Let's start with MyFlow. If you're familiar with Handoff or AirDrop, this won't be all that new to you. It's basically a share system. Whether you're on the phone or on your computer, you can always send items to MyFlow. This could be a picture, a link to a video, or just some text you selected. MyFlow makes sure that there is a direct link between the browser on your PC and the one on your phone, making communication between the two direct and effortless. In a previous video, I claimed that Firefox has the best built-in screenshot tool, and I'll stick to my opinion, but Oprah's snapshot is giving it some healthy competition. It may not analyze the page and suggest content-aware crops, but it does have a copy and close button, which, when used in combination with MyFlow, will make it super easy to grab a snapshot and send it to your phone instantly. Of course, you could also paste the image straight into one of the many social platforms that can be accessed directly from the sidebar. But more on that later. VPN is the buzzword of 2020. Okay, maybe not, but interesting VPN has been on the rise in the last few years. And this has prompted more than one developer into action. What sets Opera apart from browsers like Brave is the ability to choose your VPN connection. Sure, it won't let you choose a specific country, but at least you can choose a general region. Now. Don't go all crazy while using free VPNs, regardless if it's from Oprah, Brave, or some other provider. This sort of VPN should really only be used in order to get past library, office, or school restrictions, as there is no guarantee that your logs will be purged, or at least not transferred to a third party. What's the first thing that you do when you sit down for work? You open your browser and you log into WhatsApp and one or two other social networks. But wouldn't it be great if you didn't need to have a tab open for each one? I mean, I already have 40 plus tabs open across four windows and two workspaces. Do I really need another? Well, it appears that the developers of Oprah share your pain, which is why they integrated Facebook Messenger, Instagram, WhatsApp, VK, Telegram, and Twitter into the sidebar, which means you are always one click away from your contacts without having to juggle another four or five tabs. And even though I don't use this feature too much, I have to give them top marks for implementation. Now it's time for that one niche feature. You know, the feature that you find people raving about on Reddit, but your average user won't even know that it exists. And that feature is Battery Saver. But what does it actually do? Well, it's a combination of reducing activity in background tabs, pausing unused plugins, pausing animations, dropping the frame rate to 30, and waking the CPU only when actually needed. It is the main reason I use Oprah on my 2017 laptop. As the battery is starting to show its age, I found that the battery saver function actually makes a difference when browsing. So I keep it on all of the time. A quick recap. Oprah is a browser that thrives on the forefront of innovation. The first version of Oprah which came out in 1994, was also the first browser to feature tabs. Opera 2, which came out two years later, was the first browser to offer saved sessions. And Opera 5 gave us the first pop-up blocker back in 2000. Then there's mouse gestures, full-page zoom, torrent integration, or speed dial. The list of features that debuted on Opera only to end up as industry standards is rather quite long. So if you value a browser that stays so close to the bleeding edge that you might even confuse the two, then Opera is probably the browser for you. But seriously, how do you feel about Opera? Let's get a discussion going in the comment section. And remember that you can always learn more about Opera, browsers, and tech in general by visiting windowsreport.com for that error-free tech life. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more relevant tech videos. See you next time.